Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Sales Navigator LinkedIn strategist, and I'm going to show you in Sales Navigator all the different filters that you can have exclusions on in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button. This content is for you. So let's start with lead filters. If you go to lead filters, you can click on each of these fields. And look, company information, I can put IBM. And look, I have include and exclude. So company, I can exclude IBM. Past company, I can, I can put in IBM. Again, I can include or exclude. I'm gonna build the whole list of exclusions to show you. Company headcount, I can do 15 million. Now I do not have the ability to exclude or include here. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. It's not gonna be even useful in this conversation. Company type, publicly held. Again, I don't have exclude or include in company uh, type. Let's go look at company headquarters. Look, North America, include or exclude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna select that one. Let's go to function. I can have operations, exclude or include. Job title. I can type in uh, administrator, administrative assistant, and I can exclude that. Close that down. Seniority level, entry level, exclude that. Years in business. I don't have the ability to exclude any variation of years in business, so get rid of that one. Years in current position, again, no way to exclude or include different uh, answers there. Years in the current company, same thing, no way to exclude or include years in the current company. Years in the current position, still no way to do that in uh, that field. Let's go down to spotlight. So I can you know, change jobs alas, no exclusionary action here. And the last one here is keywords and posts, and I can type in you know peanut butter, and I don't have exclude or include there. So get rid of that one. Go to the top of the list. Connection. So there's no include or exclude option here. Let's go to connections of. Let's type in Randy. There he is right there. No exclude or include there. Let's go to geography. Where is this person located? Yes, I can exclude Oceana if I want to. Groups. I can look at groups and I can type in, um, let's type in just anything. Uh, net developers. I don't have an exclude or include there. Industry, yes, I can exclude defense and space. Let's go to first name, no exclude or include there. I've already checked it out. Last name, let's type in Burris. Nope, no exclude Burris, no exclude or include there. Let's go to profile language, Arabic, no exclude or include there. Let's go to the next one down is Team Link Connections of. Uh, you know, I gotta put a name, but I'm not using Team Link, so that won't work for me. And I do believe it will not have an exclude option. Let's go to school. I can look, I can exclude Clemson University if I want to. And years of experience, less than one, I don't have an exclude option there. Okay, let's go to workflow. Uh, I can exclude everybody who's in my bad company list. Lead list, I can exclude everybody who's in my bank list. I can go to people in CRM. I'm not using CRM, so it's not going to work for me. People you've interacted with, remove profile view, remove people contacted. I don't have the ability to do that. Uh, there's no exclude option. And the last one is save lead and account. And I can exclude all my saved leads or exclude all my saved account. The people, in this case, leads who are associated with the saved account. So I can exclude that. Let me summarize. You have the ability to use the include and exclude on the, on the lead filters for current company, past company, company headquarters, function, job title, seniority level, geography, industry, school, account list, lead list, and you have the ability to also exclude all of your save, uh, saved leads or uh, people who are in saved accounts. Now, let's go look at accounts. So let's look and see what options we have for include or exclude under accounts. Annual revenue. There is no, let's do a minimum of 1 million, maximum of 20 million. Add that. There is no exclude option here. So let's get rid of that. Company headcount. Pretty sure there's no, uh, no option for include or exclude there. Company head growth. No exclude or uh, include there. Uh, growth. Same thing. Nothing. Fortune, like Fortune 50, no exclude or include there. 
Now, by the way, look at this. It pulled over from building the lead list. It pulled over the excludes for headquarter, headquarters location and industry. Number of followers, there's no exclude there. Technologies used, no exclude there. Do they have job opportunities? Hiring, yes or no, there's no exclude. Recent activity, I don't believe there's an include or exclude. There is not. Uh, funding, no exclude or include there. I don't have the CRM tool, but I can look at saved accounts and I can look at all of my saved accounts or not. So there's no include or exclude there. On account side, the only exclude or include is headquarters and industry. Understanding what your options are when you're doing sales navigator search will help you be far more successful to build the smallest viable list and exclude all of those that you can exclude so you're not burdened by looking at either leads or accounts that are irrelevant to your activity. I'm Teddy, your sales navigator, LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.